much fucking coax in my house from all the times the cox people have come to my place. Fuck me. <sighs> Goodbye, sweet cox. I will not miss you. I swear to God, if I get cox to my new fucking place, dude, you're not even gonna know what happened. You're just gonna like, if this, what'll happen is I'll like not be streaming for like a day and then two days and then right to our arms will be memeing and chat like, he doesn't have good schedule, just stop streaming for two days. And then like three or four days will go by and then people will be like, well, what's going on? And then all of a sudden someone will start looking and then you'll find like the news reports in fucking Omaha and then you'll see, you'll see how the memes ended. Listen, if I go out like that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best to come off as like, I wanna be like John Q in the Cox offices, you know? Cause John Q is kind of like a good guy, right? Do you think he was the good guy in that film? Oh, fuck you, man. Fuck, fuck, fuck Kovacs. Oh, if I were to use the funds raised from this donation stream to go do like some terrorist shit, how bad would you guys feel? Like you funded it. Do you think the people that bought shit would feel like, would that would like haunt you for the rest of your life? What do you think, Tikoera? Ooh, I could even like itemize it. So I could dye like the bullets blue in different magazines. So say, um, how much does nine millimeter cost these days? I'm not even sure. But say, say it's like, um, it's less than a dollar a round. I know that. A box of, fuck, I used to know this. But I could, what I could do is I could like color code the magazines and then like, so I'd have one magazine with blue bullets, one with red, and then when I'd go on my shooting spree, the officers would like be able to label like, well, these people were killed with the red bullets, these guys were killed with the blue bullets. And so like, if you were the blue donator, like I'd be like, hey, I would just, I would like email you a color out, and then you would like know when the victims were coming in, like, well, these victims were shot with blue bullets, you would know that it was like your donation that went towards that. How fucked up would that be? Like your mind, I think, I think your mind would be pretty fucked. Like, holy shit, like, the 17 children that were killed with the Red Bullet magazine? That was the hundred, that was the, you know, $40 that I donated or whatever? I'd be pretty indifferent. Glock has 17 bullets? Whoa, dog. Glock has 18 bullets. That's 17 plus one, mate. You don't roll with plus one? You don't roll with one in the chamber? I've always got one in the chamber. What if you have to kill 18 people, and you all you have is your puny 17-round magazine? No, dude, you always gotta roll with one in the chamber and a fully loaded mag. How many bullets does this get me? I call green. <laughs> Fuck. I'm, why are you donating $20 to this? What's wrong with you? What do I, um... Oh, I carry the hollows. I don't know what the fuck these are called. These things, hollows are expensive as fuck, but I figure you never use them, right? You just buy like one set of hollow points and then you never, ideally, you never have to use them. And then the FMJs are just for range fire. I think that shooting, um, shooting FMJs in public from everything I've read sounds really, really, really dangerous and irresponsible. And they're not as effective as the hollow points. There's no, and there's no reason. I don't think you would ever use FMJs. Well, obviously, right? It's not, it's not like that's like a big debate or anything. Have I sold any of the legs to the board signed copies? No. How much are Mosin bullets? Um, even though the Mosin bullets are a lot larger, I think they might be cheaper because it's all military surplus. I could be wrong though. You should absolutely test the hollow points on the off chance they jam your gun. It's a this Glock. Why would it jam? Dark. Glocks never jam. Why am I packing? I'm moving into a new house that I bought yesterday. FMJs have more penetrating power. How else are you going to kill the man holding the child? Hostage if your bullets can't penetrate in your So, I feel like we've talked about this on stream before. I'm pretty sure we've talked about this on stream before. Um, when you're firing somebody, you don't actually want to fully penetrate them because an exit wound represents two. If you have an exit wound, that means one of two things. Well, that means two separate things have happened. One, you have kinetic energy leaving the body, which you don't want because you want to transfer. When you fire that gun, you want the full force of that bullet to be hitting somebody back, right? So the, um, so, um, the, if, a, if a bullet leaves the body, that's a bad thing. And then two, a bullet leaving the body is a bullet that should have tumbled around the body more, causing more internal damage, right? I think it's called wound channels. Um, so a hollow point is good on those regards, in both of those regards. Because the hollow point spreads out, it'll spread 100% of the kinetic this impact to the person. The and because it spreads bulging. out more, it deals more internal damage. But the, um, the bad thing about FMJ rounds is that another bad thing about penetration, over penetration, is that if a bullet moves through a target, then you risk collateral damage to what's behind the target. And you risk collateral damage via... Um, uh, ricochet. Also, FMJ bullets are more likely to penetrate a wall and hit something on the other side of the wall that would be bad too. 
Whereas hollow points, I don't think, will penetrate walls. Hollow points are unethical. Hollow points are only unethical if you're an idiot and don't understand what a gun is for. If you're firing a gun at somebody, you're firing a gun at them to kill them. That's it. That's all you're ever doing. Truly, like, death is, is assumed. If they survive, then that's dungeon. great, but... If the world got tougher and decided to make hollow point rounds of war crime... Well, it, hollow points aren't allowed to be used in military things, I don't think, because of the Geneva Convention. I don't even know what this is for. What is this? I've got a stereo 4.5 to RCA? Why? Truly, this is the dankest dungeon. Hey buddy, can you test out the Mosin out for me to check if it works using this new method? You simply load a single bullet and then put the muzzle into your mouth and pull the trigger, Peppy. Why do you not shoot to injure? Okay, uh, are we really going over all this right now? I feel like we've had this talk on stream literally, fuck. I have an emote in chat from talking about this on stream. The re you don't shoot to injure for several reasons, okay? Firstly, okay, the most important thing when you're shooting at somebody is you want to actually hit them, right? That's really important. Um, if you're moving or if the target is moving, shooting becomes exponentially harder. It is very, 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 very hard to hit a moving target. It seems like a big meme in video games, it's very easy, but like in real life, hitting a target that's moving is very hard. Um, and then to add another level of complexity to that, hitting a limb, that's you're bordering on impossibility now if you're maybe in an isolated scenario if you're sitting at a range and you're very calm and collected and you've got a target moving in front of you that might be easier to do if you're doing like a three gun run or whatever like sure maybe there are ways that you know while you're moving or whatever you can hit a target but in a real life scenario you want to reduce the number of complications down to the absolute fucking bare minimum you want to pull your gun out and you want to shoot 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 and like that's it like that's all you that's all you want to do like you don't want to have to think about like okay i gotta hit the femoral artery on you know the inner left thigh or like i'm going for the jugular on the neck or you know i'm trying to hit if i can just shoot the gun out of his left hand like you don't have time for that you don't have time um one because if the person is trying to kill you or kill some a loved one or whatever you you're not going to be sitting there trying to you know v um vats you know like the optimal body part and two hitting those little body parts limbs flailing around fuck that it's not pot there's no way man it's like insanely hard to do um and three um when you're shooting somebody, the only thing that's going, there's two ways to take somebody down by shooting them. You're either pumping so much kinetic energy into them that you're knocking them off their feet, which I don't know is possible to do with nine millimeter. I don't even know if it's possible to do with 45. That's like shotgun tier shit. So, or five, five, or a rifle, if you're, I don't know why the fuck you would have a rifle. So you're either pumping so much kinetic energy into them that you're knocking them down, or you're putting so many different wound channels into them that you're destroying the ability of their body to function and they collapse because of trauma or whatever, right? That's the only way. You're never gonna bring somebody down because you hurt them. Um, because when people are in life or death situations and that adrenaline is pumping through your body, pain is not fucking registered. So you, you, so you need to have bullets that you can put into somebody that will cause them to fall over because of so much internal trauma or because you literally knock them over with something like a shotgun, right? That's the only two ways to do it. But the... Um, what about SWAT officers who are trained to and have shot guns out of hands of people? It doesn't, that never happens. It only happens in movies. Nobody shoots guns out of hands of people. It just doesn't work that way. Um, aiming at a target that small, even from 10 yards, is pretty hard to, to, to aim. And not only are you aiming at that target from 10 yards, you would have to like pull your gun out. You'd have to have time to steady it and aim it. And then you would have to hope that they're not moving it at all. Like maybe from long range with like a sniper rifle, I get, but that, but you're getting into like, that's like really, 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 um, you're, that's like you're in Hollywood territory at that point like not police officers in real life scenarios are always just shooting somebody you're shooting center mass to take a target down until you're done and the extras fix it at silver screens yes apparently the scrawny best wearing wrongdoer has been dumped by his lady okay so in the one off scenario okay you know never mind you got me you're right nope okay yep so never mind. Shooting for the shooting for the hand is super fucking possible to do. <clears throat> I take back what I said earlier. Police officers often shoot. Um, police officers will often try to shoot the gun out of the hand because it's very common that the perpetrator is going to be sitting calmly in a chair, holding the gun steady out in front of him, 
and just chilling. So I take back what I said. Mo I would say that most encounters with a firearm, most encounters are gonna go like this, where the perpetrator is just gonna be sitting in a chair, holding the firearm in front of them, not being aggressive, not making any threatening movements. You're gonna have plenty of time to steady a shot and aim. You're always gonna have a sniper over the scope. You're always gonna be at minimum safe distance. Um, you're right, my bad. Most of the time you'll be shooting the gun out of the hand. Even mortally wounded, a bad guy can stay in the- Fuck, I don't need, I don't wanna watch the tactical. <laughs> I don't need it, dude. Never mind. that guy might've had a good point. I can hit a metal human-sized target at 400 yards with my ARs, iron sights. I felt pretty dang good as able to offer my eyes to shit. Wow, nice job. I think that most people are taking issue as the language of shoot to kill. Okay, I'm sorry. That's because what I said was wrong. You're not shooting to kill. You're shooting to um, disable. The, basically, this is how it works when you have a gun, okay? This is Hold on, wait till this, and I'll tell you what, what the goal is. Cheeto gay as shit. Also, fuck you for never calling me again, feels bad, man. Damn, get fucked. This is what's happening, okay? If you, if you're, if a police officer pulls out a gun, or if you have to pull out a gun because somebody is coming at you, what you're doing is you're taking out your firearm and you are aiming at the person center mass and you are firing bullets into their body until they drop. That's what you're doing. Now, it's not shooting to kill, technically, but that's pretty much the side effect of what will happen there without extreme medical intervention and a huge dose of fucking crazy luck for them to survive. So that means you're not aiming for limbs, and you're not shooting guns or hands or whatever. Um, Destiny, wait, what the fuck is your email? You don't know my email? Do you have your CC license? Yeah, I do. My CCW. Whew, I don't know when I have to renew that shit. What if a semi-automatic weapon is banned? I don't think that happens. I don't think there's semi-autos banned anymore. Uh, sure, Apple 240 boom. Hitting a pistol, hitting a, I could probably hit, I could hit a human-sized target at 50 yards, but they're not gonna be fucking bullseyes. At 50 yards? I'm not even sure if I could hit a human-sized target at 50 yards with a pistol. I, actually, I don't even know if I would put money on that. I mean, if I had an entire magazine, I'm sure I could land a couple, but 50 yards is a lot longer than you think it is. Or, I mean, you might know, but like, hitting a, hitting a yard at 50 targets with a pistol? That's some hard fucking shit. I'm sure I could get like one round to go in. I think that with a handgun, you, I think you should be like lethal at 10 yards. I think that's like a good, if, if, you've got, if you have a pistol and you can put, you should be able to put every, um, every round of a magazine of a 15 to 20 round magazine, well, 17 is like the largest, right? Into a target at 10 yards, then you're probably good. If you're, if you're shooting, yeah, yeah, I think, that's, I think that's good. Did I say hit a yard at 50 targets? <laughs> My bad. Think about banning semi-auto rifles like AR-15s. I don't know, I'm not sure. I don't know, dude. That's a, it's an interesting thing to think about. I used to be really against all forms of gun control, but now I'm definitely for more screening. I think it should be harder to get a gun. Um, this is an interesting... Does anybody know that gun commercial we watched? This is I thought this was an interesting commercial. Excuse me! Hey! Hey! hey. It's interesting to think of how the Second Amendment would have been worded differently had they known what guns would be like now, right? Because you, you know, because back, back in the day, man, firing, what do you do? You have to fire, you fire the shot, and then you have to get, um, you, what, you've got to pack the gunpowder in, and then you've got to dry, you've got to use your little fucking jerk-off thing, and then you've got to put the bullet in and out. Like, firing is a lot of fucking work on, um, firing is a lot of work on old guns. Had the, had the people that drafted the Constitution known that guns would be as crazy powerful as they are today, I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know. What do you think is the point of the Second Amendment? The point of the Second Amendment, I think, was to make it so that um, a government can't disarm its population, that a government can't disarm its citizens. But um, I don't know how, how relevant is that to today. I'm not sure. I don't know. 
It's the concept of having weapons that would defend yourself against any foe. I mean, I don't know if it was so much self-defense. I thought it was more of a people versus government thing. Although self-defense, I'm sure, is probably a part of it, but... That's a horrible argument. They saw the advances of technology at the time. The Founding Fathers weren't idiots. They knew weapons would grow in power. This is a very, very... Okay, I want to talk to you, okay? Because I'm in a good mood right now, and I don't even think you're an idiot. I think that we agree on a lot of things, and you don't even realize... You don't even realize how much we agree on, okay? Let's talk about this for a moment, okay? Because what you just said was 100% correct. I don't disagree with a single thing you just said there, okay? Destiny. That's a horrible argument in reference to the fact that guns might become more powerful than what the people that originally drafted the Constitution believed, okay? Is what he's saying, right? They saw the advances of technology at the time. The Founding Fathers weren't idiots. They knew weapons would grow in power. Um, I would maybe change would grow in power to could grow in power. Now, I would disagree maybe with the idea that they knew that every single person could wield in their hands the equivalent of like a mounted chain gun at the time, right? Because to get like a fully automatic fire, what you had to do the, you had to do the when you're rolling the crank and the, now I don't know if they maybe foresaw ahead that we would get to a point to where we had individual guns where a single person could discharge, you know, fucking, what, what is it? What is an M4? Like a hundred rounds per second? No, I'm sorry. A um, hundred rounds per Per minute. Wait, hold on. Rate of fire. 100 rounds per minute isn't right. That's that's way too low. Um, I'm sorry. That's way too low. Okay. Well, uh, 700 to 970 rounds per minute. My bad. Okay. So to, to know that somebody would have um, that much destructive power with them, I mean, it's pretty hard to foresee. However, 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 however. You are absolutely right that the Founding Fathers knew that weapons would grow in power. One of the things that everybody seems to forget when they talk about the United States Constitution, okay, um, the, the things that people forget when you talk about the United States Constitution, the United States Constitution is the oldest document still in use by any government around the world, the single unifying document in use by any country around the world today. Okay, it's the longest surviving one. And the reason why is because, um, the reason why is because we have the ability to amend our constitution. So the idea is that if technology changes or if things in the country, um, became so much more crazy that they could have never foreseen that shit ever happening or whatever, right? Um, the whole point of the Constitution is the fact that, that we can actually add amendments to it and change it based on how technology is going. I'm sorry, I clusterfucked that because I was reading a sentence. I'm sorry. So basically the point is, if technology changes in ways that were unforeseeable in the past, we have the ability to amend our Constitution as a response to that. So um, the idea that... The idea that um, we absolutely can't change anything because some words written in the Constitution absolutely forbade it um, is kind of not a true statement because we have the ability to change our constitution, right? Like, you're right, we do agree on a lot of things. I just don't think guns are better now with something the first constitution would have written differently. I mean, maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure. You think I'm anticipating because one of the main reasons I want to move to another city state is the gun laws and see where I'm in right now. Sometimes I feel like I am, I don't know, what, do you want more guns or less guns? I don't know, dude. It's incredibly wishy-washy to define which guns. Fuck, I don't want to get into a whole fucking gun argument. Listen, this is all I think. I think that it should be a little bit harder to get a gun. I think that maybe we should have, like, I don't think a psych evaluation is a bad idea. And I don't think um, a little bit of a longer waiting period. Like, I think, like, a two-month waiting period on purchasing firearms should be okay. I don't think any responsible... I feel like... I don't feel like there's a responsible gun owner that would be, like, two-month waiting period? That's crazy unreasonable. Fuck that. Or, um... Or, or like, you know, like a psychiatric evaluation? No way, dude, that's some fucking bullshit. Like, I don't know, I feel like those are reasonable things. Also, this whole loop where you can sell people weapons at gun shows and you don't have to, like, account for it is, like, super fucking stupid as well. In America, is the prime reason that people own firearms due to recreation? I mean, a lot of people own it for recreation, a lot of people own it for self-defense. I mean, it just depends, I guess. What about only allowing smaller magazines? I don't know. I feel like if you were really dead, it, swapping out magazines in a gun is really quick and easy. People make it sound like it's a big meme. I feel like you can switch out a magazine in like a second or two. I mean, I guess it still takes a little bit more time, but if you've got like 20 fucking magazines on your fucking body, 
I'm gonna try this because I don't look at a fucking guitar. Hold on. Yeah, this is. I suck at this. I'm not even good at this, right? But it was swapping out a magazine. So, assuming I have one, like, on my vest, right? So, you're literally holding your fucking bullshit. Hold on, can we see this? Right. This is how fast, this is how long it takes you to swap out a magazine, okay? You're holding it, so both hands are on it, okay? So, like, you can count down, okay? I'm gonna go three, two, one, zero, and I'm gonna swap it out, okay? Three, two, one, zero. Fuck, I missed the release. <laughs> Come on, I missed the release. But it's like two seconds, okay? Hold on, I'll try it again. I feel like I'm gonna fuck this up now, because maybe in, maybe in a real scenario I'd be under pressure, right? Three, two, one, zero. Right, it's like two seconds. And in an, an attack vest, I would have these like, I would have these like, you know, like organized too, right? So they'd be like right up here on my chest. So as soon as I push the release, I'd be like popping a new one. And it's like literally like half a second, like not even, right? And for the people that are trained to do this shit, they can do it in like, or somebody that doesn't have like little child hands, right? You could do this and like fucking like empty out like an entire fucking gun, right? And you could do this in like two, not even, not even two seconds. It's like less than half a second, right? So I feel like the, um, I feel like the idea that having like smaller capacity magazines would make a difference. I don't know. It's, it just seems like kind of a meme to me. Is it true you're more likely to use a gun on yourself than if you are to use it for self-defense? Probably. Um, there are about 32,000 deaths a year in America due to gun violence, and about 20,000 of those are suicides. I think that owning a gun increases the chances due to um, both accidents and due to... Um, I don't know, it made me do the accidents and suicides are probably the reason why um, owning a firearm is more likely to get you killed by one. If the government actually cared about gun violence, they would have the National Guard in Chicago to deal with gangs pretty much nonstop emo T. Ignorant Canadian. Okay. There were 372 mass shootings in the United States last year, and you can find um, you can find lists of all of them. I actually didn't believe these numbers until I and until so you can click on the stories and see every single fucking thing. Um, gun violence in the United States is really, really sad. As of December 23rd, a total of 12,942 people have been killed in the United States in 2015 in a gun. So, like. We got, um, we got really, really, really bent out because the Orlando shooter killed 50 people, right? That was really bad. Like, that's really, really bad. Um, 36 Americans a day die to homicides, and over 100 per day die, um, over 100 a day die if you include suicides, um, because suicides bring that number to around 32,000. Is mass shooting defined? I think mass shooting is just a shooting that involves four or more people, I think. 50 people? That's like a summer weekend in Chicago. That's not really that big of an exaggeration. Most of them are suicide? No! Don't misconstrue. Don't ever fucking put words in my mouth. These are homicides. These right here are homicides. Of the 30 plus thousand deaths to gun violence per year that happen in the United States, approximately two thirds of those are suicides. But this? Um, these 12,942 people, these are homicides. This is a different thing, okay? This is not, these are not, um, these are not all suicides, or the majority suicides. But regard, but whatever, regardless of whether or not a suicide is, um, regardless of whether the, um, suicide or not, like, or murder-suicide, okay, hold on, we'll go. In 2013, firearms were used in 84,258 non-fatal in injuries, and 11,208 deaths were by homeless, 175 by suicide. By suicide. So about two-thirds are destiny. I think you missed my point about why smaller magazines would be beneficial. The idea is that having a bunch of smaller magazines is way more difficult than having a fraction as many. Oh, I mean, I guess, but I just, I don't know how much it matters. Like I said, I feel like swapping magazines is really quick. I don't know if it would really matter that much. I'm not sure. Oh god, my shit is starting to get coxed really fucking hard. Holy shit. Well, I got a bayonet for my Mosin. If you ever want to stab people with it. It's kind of cool, I guess. Although you can't fire the rifle with the bayonet on, so I don't know what the fuck the point is. It's not like you're gonna take the bayonet out, put it on in the middle of battle, and then charge someone. I guess you could have the bayonet out initially, but then you wouldn't be able to shoot if you needed to shoot. So I'm not sure. 
I don't know what the point is. I don't know. I've said this on stream a lot. One of the biggest memes about guns that you don't realize in movies is that guns are very, 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 very fucking loud. Um, just that little inky dinky Glock I was holding, shooting a 9mm round outside left my ears ringing. Just one round in an outdoor environment, firing at one time, had my ears ringing. I thought that, um, I thought that since I was outside I'd be able to do it without hearing protection, but I couldn't. It was crazy. It's crazy how loud, um, how loud guns are. And then, like, in movies, you see people firing, like, M4s for, like, hours and have no problem at all. Well, I, I guess in real life, you just get hearing damage. Well, yeah. I'm pretty sure we've already seen the Mosin on stream before. Um, the Mosin is pretty dank. I think bolt actions in general, I think, are pretty dank because, um, you have to, um, you have to utilize the action every time you fire. I don't have any rounds here. I think all the rounds can move to the new house, but, like, so what you would do is you would have it loaded, you would fire, and then you have to activate the action. And every time you pop it out, every time you do this, a round flies out. The previous cartridge will fly out, and then you load in the next one, and then you fire, eject the cartridge, fire, eject the cartridge. Just kind of sick. Or it feels sick compared to just firing a handgun, right? And you've got your little, you can zero it for different ranges. <clears throat> I haven't looked down a rifle sight in so long. I don't e I'm not even, confident that I could even hit anything. It's so much stranger looking on a rifle sights versus a handgun, because the handguns are so much closer. I don't know. Pro gun, pro gun owner tip. If you ever have a rifle sitting around, you should always start with the action open. Don't have this shit closed, because you, if you walk in and somebody's got a rifle sitting here and it looks like this, you've got no fucking idea if it's loaded or not. You should always leave the action open so you can see that there's nothing in here. It's good. What's the make of your Mosin? It's like the 19... There's a model number for it. 35 or 30... I don't know, dude. I'm pretty sure it's just a Russian World War II shit. Like the surplus stuff or whatever. You said you should treat a gun as if it's always loaded. That's kind of hypocritical. Wait, what do you mean? Have you shot the Mosin? Yeah, it's fun. The big rifle is really fun to shoot. Like, it feels really fucking powerful. The 7.62 rounds do. Battle rifle rounds, I think. I don't know if that's what they call them. So your Mosin manufactured by Izehevsk or Tula? I have no fucking idea, dude. You said before to treat a gun loaded. Now you say make sure it's not loaded. Those aren't contradictory things. You treat a gun as if it's loaded, but you but you leave it unloaded. <laughs> Wait, what? The so in dealing with guns, the idea is. Um, you want to establish a uh, round, you want to establish a bunch of habits so that you make it impossible to have an accident with a firearm. So, assuming proper training, you never, ever, 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 ever should have an accident with a firearm, ever. Every time you pick out a pistol, somebody hands it to you, you clear it. It should just be second nature, right? Somebody gives you a handgun, you know, no magazine inside, you clear it. You just do it. You remember, and even, you know, two or three times. Every time you get a gun, you, just, you always just rack the slide a few times, make sure there's not a magazine in. Um, it's just second nature. Um, I'm pretty sure that if you see two people, even with training, you know, they're looking at a gun in a gun store or something, a guy hands you a firearm and he says, here you go, it's not loaded. Even if you just saw him clear it, as soon as you hold it, you probably rack the sight a couple times yourself just because. It's, you, you never want to pull a trigger on a gun when... Um, I think that there's like a theory called like the invisible bullet theory, where anytime your eyes leave the gun, even for a millisecond, a gnome will come in and put an invisible bullet into the chamber. You never want to have that bullet fire, right? There were 372 mass shootings in the U.S. in 2015. A mass shooting is defined as a single shooting incident which kills or injures four or more people, including the assailant. There we go.